Hey guys, this is Braden with Georgia Jet Boat and Fishing Adventures here, and today I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a look of the boat that we will be using in these videos for the most part. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the boat that we have is a 2021 Yamaha SX190. It is in the white and turquoise or teal color. Uh, as you can see, it's a really nice boat. We've done a few modifications to it, and I will show those to you, and we'll actually be doing, I think, probably a modification in this video. Well, not a modification, but um, personalization. You see we got our own um, registration letters on here, numbers, and they're silver with gloss on it, and we have the rim around there like that to kind of match that. Okay, so you can see that. You come around the inside here. And you will notice the first thing right here. This is a fishing rod cup holder. So you can put your fishing rods in here as well as have a cup holder for whatever you need a cup holder for. And we got the chrome, or I guess not really chrome, but aluminum uh, ring or trim ring around it. We got the same thing on the other side. Okay. Uh, stepping into the boat now. Uh, normally, the SX190 has uh, black trim rings around the cup holders. We bought the... Uh, polished, I think it's stainless steel or whatever it is, aluminum or whatever, this this color, chrome is what I, I'll call them, I'll, I'll refer to them as chrome, uh, to match the boat, make it look a little bit better, especially in here because the contrast in there looks pretty neat, we got the carpet in here, uh, as you can see, literally every, every one has that. We haven't actually come up with a name with it yet, uh, sadly. We just reached our 10 hour mark, um, like two, three days ago. And we did our lubricating right back there in the engine. So uh, this is channel is gonna be, uh, we're gonna be doing, you'll see the maintenance, modifications, um, just like out overall when we're just on the lake and fishing off of the boat and sometimes we'll go down to Florida go on my grandpa's little river boat and go exploring a uh, creek where there is a plane wreck out there actually which is kind of interesting to see um yeah so we're just getting started with this uh the season has just started so it's a good time to start this channel I believe and, oh yeah, another modification we've done just to make it easy. This is actually, I think, a mod more of a modification uh, that's actually useful. We put these clips, not clips, yeah, I guess you can call them clips, on here. And when you, um, and we have our, that's uh, for the bow, this is the stern, stern hook. You put it over the side, put it through, and just... Clip it in. I can't really do it with one hand, but let's say it'll be clipped like that, basically. And it's at the right height we need it, so we don't have to tie it off every time. So we just clip it on to make it quicker when we're coming into dock. Um, yeah, we have the same thing in the front too, as you can see right there and there. So this is pretty much the boat. Um, we will be getting some of this stuff for i think the front of the trailer right there for a step and we'll probably be getting it well we'll be getting it for right here um so our little step through there and we're not going to do it here just because it's not really necessary here the, kish, the cushion could fit on there. It's just there's... We don't feel the need for it, really. Um, yeah. Actually, let me go ahead 
show you something else in here. As you can see, we have a American flag for the boat that'll go right. It goes in here into your um, your light pole thing and actually holds pretty well. It's only fell off once and that was because I think I put it in wrong because see, that's not, that doesn't really come out very easily. I think what I did is I just kind of put it in like that and that still moves around but then if you push it in more then the pins actually go into those pins down there go into the hole in the bottom of that which keeps it sturdy. Uh, yeah, so that's actually the personalization we're going to be doing today is we got some, uh, decals for the boat. Let me show you real quick. Got these American flag decals. We're not quite sure where we're going to put them yet. We might put them side and side because that one is supposed to go on the right side like that. So the flag's facing, um, forward. Uh, we were originally just going to kind of put them like right there, kind of in the middle-ish area, but I think... I don't think it would look bad on the side, like maybe there. I don't know, we'll think about it. And uh, you probably, yeah, you will be seeing that in this video. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so now we're about to put the American flag decals on the boat. I'm now just looking for the rubbing alcohol. And we'll be putting them on. Here we go. Yep. A little bit. Is it working? Okay. It looks pretty good to me. Put it straight on. Light straight on. Hardly noticeable. I don't even notice it, to be honest. Well, you can't tell it anyway. I mean, nobody's gonna get that close to the boat anyway. Oh yeah, she looks good. Right. Yeah, it looks pretty in line to me. Alright, it is what it is now. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull the boat out and start the engine up, get the oil warm because we have reached our 10 hour mark and it's time for the 10 hour um, oil change. So we're going to try and change the oil filter and uh, the oil, and we'll see you guys. I probably won't show anything while we're doing it because this is the first time and we need to kind of learn. But, um, yeah. So, I guess we'll see you when we see you. Go ahead and start up the engine. One very important thing I need to tell you about when you're starting your jet boat on, uh, when you're using a hose, is turn your engine on before you turn the hose on and turn the hose off before you turn the engine off. Otherwise, you will flood your engine and that'll be serious damage to your engine. So just be sure, I know if you're coming from an outboard or an inboard outboard, it's completely different, but you just gotta make sure because the jet boat can run out of water for just a little bit. Just gotta make sure you turn the engine on before you turn the water on and just make sure if, the engine has to be running in order for the water to be on basically. So adjust accordingly and avoid a very expensive mess up so just wanted to clarify that um if you guys are watching this to maybe i don't know get a jet boat or something i don't really know just make sure you do that
Okay, so we finished changing the oil in the boat. It was actually very straightforward. I mean, all you have to do is just, here, let me show you. All you have to do, and you really don't have to take this off, we did, uh, just because we wanted to, I don't know, keep it clean, maybe a little bit easier to access. All you have to do is take the dipstick out, uh, put one of the oil pumps in there, suck all the stuff out, and do, a, I don't know, whatever you normally put your oil in whenever you change the oil. And uh, we had about three and a half, what do we have, three and a half, I don't even know, I forgot the measurement, but whatever it was, uh, I'll put it up on the screen, in there, and it was a little bit over what it said, but we also changed that, so we put, we ended up putting four whole things of oil in here, because of that, and it actually is perfectly on the dipstick, I mean, it's really easy, to suck it out, and put the new oil in, I mean, there's really nothing to it. Uh, it took a little bit longer because we had to change the oil filter, but that is done. Everything's good to go, and really, you don't have to unplug anything. Um, yeah, just start the engine up for maybe, we did it for 10 minutes on the water, let it warm up. We let it cool down for 10, well, technically, we let it cool down for 20, and it's plenty warm. Um, you just don't want it too hot while you're doing it, but you want it warm so it comes out easier. And I tell you what, we had so many metal shavings in, um in there which is i mean that's why you change the oil so we don't want that running through here so now we got clean oil in here ready to go take the boat out again so. hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of uh this channel uh hopefully we'll get some on water filming soon actually i do have an on water filming clip which i'll put for the outro of this video and uh well thank you guys for watching and catch you next time